Hello everyone, this is Suzanne. It is Sunday, July 9th. I thought I'd come on and give a devotional. I have this book, The Spirit Calling. How many of us truly listen to the Spirit's voice and the Spirit's calling? I know I listen very carefully. Sometimes something pricks my conscience and I have to rethink what I'm thinking or what I heard. Holy Spirit points me to the truth of God's word and the Holy Spirit keeps me safe from harm and danger. So we have to listen. There's a lot of things the Holy Spirit does behind the scenes that we don't know. We need to love the Holy Spirit and pray that the Holy Spirit will guide us in the right way through the scriptures. All right, the name of this devotional today is My Power, Your Gain. Genesis 6, 3. The Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he is also flesh, yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. I gave humanity a reprieve for over a century before the flood came. The point was to allow time for anyone to come to repentance. During the wait, I battled the enemy in the world and the sin of people. I restrained evil so that the work of the building of the ark could be done. Not just the work of the ark, but the work in people's soul. I still do that today, beloved. When the sun shines and the sky is blue, that means I withheld the storms. When a hurricane hits, I protect lives. When an illness comes, I bring healing. I know you still see evil in the world. You ask why certain things have been allowed in your life and in others' lives. As bad as things may seem right now, I'm still battling the enemy for you. I'm still restraining evil from being fully unleashed in order to give you a hope for tomorrow. Turn to me. Help me, Holy Spirit, to trust in you and believe in your power. I am still restraining evil from being fully unleashed in order to give you a hope for tomorrow. So the Holy Spirit is restraining evil in order to give us a hope for tomorrow. Isn't that fantastic? I think I'm going to do quite a few of these little devotionals. So that we can understand the power of the Holy Spirit and how he works in our lives. And we need to listen to the Holy Spirit talking to us. All right, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this short mini devotional. I really am thankful for my subscribers. And I always read your wonderful comments. Thank you so much for the things that you say to me about me. And sometimes um, share some things that... You have found that the Holy Spirit has guided you to or kept you away from. Uh, put it in the comment box below. All right. Um, I'm doing well. I'm still going to be dealing with my pain levels uh, for quite a while. But I do my exercises. And we're going to go out for a nice walk. It's 79 outside or 76, I believe. And uh, we try to do our hour walk it usually turns out to be 45 minutes because i have to sit quite, i have to sit quite often because of my knee but it's good to get outside and get that fresh air and uh, then come home and continue with my day i love each and every one of you i hope you're having a great day in the lord and know that god loves you in jesus name can i get an amen all right everyone lord willing i'll be on tomorrow we are going back to our study in Revelation. I'm so excited. We will be talking about the church at Thyatira. It's an interesting uh, little church. And uh, we'll see what God has to say about that church. All right, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye for now.